Well, I guess I'd better check the comments. Let's have a look. I'll tell you what, this guy's that insane, I'm going to phone the doctor, okay? And just, just check, okay? Hi there. Hi, it's me. Yeah, I just, I just emailed you a screenshot. Did you get it? Yeah, I mean, what, what is your diagnosis on that guy? What do you think? Because that's pretty, yeah, it's pretty, yeah. Um, so, what, what do you... Mm -hmm. and, you're, and you're sure about that? 100%? Definitely. Okay. Small penis syndrome. Nah, I thought so. Anyway, thanks for that. Yeah. Small penis syndrome. Who would have thought? What a surprise. Poor guy. Poor guy. I don't even know what to say. This guy knows more about me than I do about myself. Who knew you could get so much info from a Super Nintendo rant video? Jesus. You know, this isn't... He is, he's a creative genius and he's got amazing skills. Oh, he's just insane. Either way, I don't want to miss out an opportunity like this. Hi. Is that Forbes magazine? Listen, there's this amazing guy. A total success story. You have to do an article on him, okay? You ready? Good, let's get started. Hey guys, Lexi here with North Vegan Review. So this is Cacherel Paul Lome, released in 1981 by the house of Cacherel. Now I'm looking okay, at Givenchy. They just put Cacherel there to take the piss, you know, to laugh and go, I thought it was Cacherel. Dicks. Um, so I got this one. This is a 50ml bottle and this is a, I'm not sure if it's a later version. This isn't a vintage. Um, but this one was a really weird sort of scent. I saw it cheap and I'd heard good reviews. So I thought, hey, I'll just buy it. So let's get a good look at the bottle design. Turn off the shitty autofocus. Adjust the camera and let's have a look. So, Cacherel, Paul Loam there. Um, plastic, this part here, it's not metal. Plastic cap, it is pretty cheap presentation wise. 50ml, eau de toilette, made in France, blah blah blah. Not really much in the bottom, and that's about it. Basic as it gets, but it's got a nice sort of charm to it. It's almost got a sort of, um, what are those scooters? You know those old Italian scooters? Sounds weird. Okay, it means we're a bit of them in the style. So, Let's talk about the sprayer first. Let's go on. How's this how's this one spray? Really good sprayer. I really like this one. It just works. One big wish comes out. It just does the job. So, how's this one smell? Well, as usual, since I suck at notes, I'm going to read it off for Grand Kiss. So, blah blah blah. Let's see. This is a ton of notes. Let me water my mouth here. It creates unusual create designed by Gerald Go can't pronounce that. It's unusual symbiosis of nutmeg, ylang ylang, carnation, lavender and lotus. This perfume is opened with notes of bergamot, sage, nutmeg and lavender followed by a heart of ylang ylang, lotus, geranium and carnation. What a carnation. <laughs> Carnage. And closed with the warm base of amber, cedar, vetiver and fir. Fir. Okay. I'm just going to say it smells nice. I'm kidding. So, um, smell wise, it really that sort of nutmeggy bit, citrusy. It's got a sort of citrusy vibe. I mean, what I can see in the notes here, top ones are nutmeg. That's coming in. Bergamot. So that's what that is. Bergamot. Damn, I just called that. You know, citrus, lemon, lime stuff. You know, <laughs> that's what it's called. Damn, I just called lime, citrus. And that's what it's like. Citrus nutmeg. And the kit stays that way and it starts to die down and it changes a little bit. But really this is what you're going to get mostly is I found the nutmeg maybe comes out later on more but this is pretty much how it's going to smell mostly. Lovely citrus old school vibe. It is kind of old manny. It sounds weird. You'll recognise it like the minute you smell this you'll be like oh I remember that in, grandpa's ba in grandma's bathroom you know. Smell it's soap your grandparents had, trust me. But it just totally smells of France. When I smell this, I totally think of like um, old school France. Guys walking around Paris, you know, 
horses and carriages, top hats, overcoats, you know, people sitting outside, coffee shops, you know, um, it just totally makes me think of France. Cachavel, it just sounds French. Bollon, you know, Cachavel. It sounds so fucking Italian. Cachavel, Don Vittorio, Cachavel, Bollon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it really does smell nice and classy. So yeah, I mean, I posted this on like a Facebook group and some guy was like, why'd you only buy the crappest scents? I was like, have you smelled this? No, you haven't, because you're a moron. That's why I left those groups. It's fucking sad. <laughs> but really nice smell. So let's talk about performance. How does this one perform? On me, I actually don't get the best performance. I get about, I would say, six to eight hours at most, maybe about that. Um, round about six each longevity, maybe more. Projection, it's really not um, a heavy hit. It's about a um, good couple of feet projection. So average projection um, for about one, two hours, then it starts to die down after that. So it's not going to fill a room and it's not going to last too long. So it is pretty nice. It's subtle, but still enough to get noticed. It's a nice gentlemanly projection. So how many sprays is this one? I'm going to say five. Um, five sprays I think should be fine. Depends on the weather and situation and stuff, but five sprays should be fine. Age group, I'm going to say 35 and up. Like I said, I, I know I don't like throwing the grandpa old man tag around, but this really isn't. If you're 16, you're going to hate this. You're going to think, grandma. Yeah, it's not going to, unless you're a mafia member's son or daughter, it's not going to work for you. But it can actually quite easily be unisex. Believe it or not, a woman could easily wear this, a guy could easily wear this. So, yeah, easily unisex without a doubt. So, yeah, age group 35 and up, you'll be fine. So season-wise, where can you wear this? Can you wear it in the spring? Yes. Can you wear it in the summer? Yes. Can you wear it in the autumn? Yes. Can you wear it in the winter? Yes. The only thing in this one is the colder months might um, not be as good because it's not that heavy a scent. So wind, rain, snow will just strip this off your skin. It'll just wipe it away. Whew, you never won't be noticed whatsoever. Spring and summer, this really shines. Preferably spring. When you smell this, you'll just think of a cold spring day. Smell. I mean, when you smell it, you'll be like, oh, I get what it means now. Trust me. Summer, yes. Here's how you went in summer. Spray. Spray. Maybe even spray and that shoe. Don't be giving it all. The nutmeg is so cloying. Yeah, it's your fucking problem, dick. But <laughs> anyway, but spring is one I recommend for this, really. Can be warm in summer, but spring, this is, you'll see what I mean when you smell it, you'll be like, oh, cold spring day, Paris, you know, overcoat, top hat. Trust me, it's insane, but it, it's totally what I think of. <laughs> so let's move on to situation-wise, where can you wear this? Can you wear it to work? Yes. Can you wear it on a date? Goddamn throat, let me take a mint, this is terrible. My throat was fine, and then suddenly, turned it up me. Uh, so can you wear it to work? I think you can, especially in an office environment. It's light, you know, it's not going to offend anyone, even though it's old man, it's just citrus, it's just fresh, you know, it's not going to really think anyone, oh, just don't wear 50 sprays of it and, you know, wonder why, but really not too bad and for work. For a date, 1981, I'd recommend this for a date anytime. Personally, even someone my age, I think it'd be fine for a date for, say, if you're just going to walk, see a walk in the park or something. Yeah, that'd be like a spring, you're on a date with someone, you could just, you know, just walking, just going to walk to the park or something, just to chill and chat and stuff and have a laugh. Yeah, that'd be fine for that. But say a restaurant or something, it might be okay if you're all dressed up, it's a nice place, but it's just you don't want that whole grand, grandma, mum, dad thing going on, you know, it really is a big turn off unless someone's into, you know, older guys. Oh yeah, I'm 23, I'm not 16. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm fucking insane. What do you think of that? Um, <laughs> does that turn you on? Uh, <laughs> Christian Grey's getting nothing in me. Um, but yeah, for a date, maybe it depends. But to play it safe, I would say no. Clubbing, definitely no, no. Just when you smell this, you'll see why. It's not a clubbing scent. I mean, I mentioned fucking horses and carriages. I mean, come on, no. Maybe to the ball if you're Cinderella or some shit. But not to club, no. Now, formal wear, you've got a suit, you've got an anniversary, a wedding, something special like that. Yes, formally this will be fine. Casual wear as well, this will actually be okay with it, like jeans, layer jacket. Going for some wings, going for a burger, going to the pub. Could be, but 
I think it's better for formal wear, if I'm honest. But damn throat, it's such a weird scent. I mean, I'm going to say yes, sort of smart casual, but really, I think this really shines in a suit or a romantic thing. Um, it just smells of pure old school, classy Paris. It's really, really good and kind of unique in that aspect. I think another fragrance that smells similar to this is Aramis Gentleman. I believe it's been a while since I smelled it, but when I sniffed it, it smelled more like a watered down version of this. Aramis Gentleman. But yeah, I prefer this. So that pretty much sums this one up. Really nice scent, a nice gem. If you're into old school scents and you want something that's a catchy little sort of in Chanel territory, smell wise, it's got the whole Chanel thing going on, in my opinion. So if you want something different, you want something new to try, um, I highly recommend Cacherelle Paul Lome. It's quite a unique scent, and it's not like other scents you'd expect from 1981. It's certainly not like Draca Noir or Quorum or anything like that. It's quite a nice, pleasant scent, and I recommend you pick it up. It can be had pretty cheap as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Send me a YouTube message. If you're lucky enough to not have a Google Plus account, you can contact me on Facebook. Send me a message there. And as always, keep on smelling fly.